The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game has been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, Vegas announced a fight August 1st. August 1st, PBC comes back with a bang. Now, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's a lot of fights that are being announced. You got some fights, you know, you got top rank. They've, they've, they've been doing their, their thing, putting on fights. You know, they have been the best, as I've, as I've documented in the past. But you've had Top Rank, uh, who has been consistently putting out, putting on fights over the last couple of weeks. You have Matchroom Boxing, who's set to come back uh, at the beginning of next month. You have Frank Warren, who just had his first show recently. And PBC, they're coming back swinging, coming out the box. You know, Golden Boy as well. They're coming, they're, their first card is July 24th, Virgil Ortiz versus Sammy Vargas. But PBC announced the fight, and I'll be honest with you, this fight right here, to me, out of all the fights that have been announced, it is the best fight in boxing. It is the best fight in boxing. I'm putting y'all on game because this fight probably got announced, and it's definitely a fight that's going to go on your nose because neither one of these guys are big names. Neither one of these guys are fighters that normally dominate the headlines. But here on True School Sports, this fight will dominate the headlines because I, I really do think it is a great matchup between, uh, you know, and it's at 122 for the vacant WBO title. It was re announced recently that. And it was announced recently that uh, the vacant WBO title at 122, which was vacated by Emmanuel Navarrete as he's moving up, they're going to have Stephen Fulton. Stephen Fulton from Philadelphia, you know, fantastic fighter. He's taking on another young, fantastic fighter, Angelo Leo, who's a Mayweather fighter. Who I really, I do rate the kid highly. Um, and I think it's a great style matchup, man, you know, because Fulton, he's one of these guys, he, he's a fighter that, you know, very, he has a very good jab. He knows how he knows his distance. He knows how to control range with that jab, um, and that's his bread and butter, the jab, which is never a bad thing. You don't you don't ever want to condemn a fighter for just for that being the bread and butter. But I do believe he's got his vulnerabilities that if a fighter can get past that jab. Leo, on the other hand, he's he's a fighter that when I watch him fight, you know his style to me, the way he the way he hits his angles, the way he moves, the way he pivots. Um, obviously, he's not as talented as this guy, but I I I, I do see uh, some sort of Roma Gonzalez influence in him. He, reminds, he kind of fights like him to me. Um, and I've, I've been following Angelo Leo for about a year now. I mean, I, I, I follow, I've been following him ever since he fought the, this guy, uh, Tabano. I think his name was Tabano. Let me see. What was his name? Tabano. Yeah, Angelo Leo, 19-0. He fought a guy named Neil John Tabano last April. And I've I, I watched all his fights since then. So I've watched his fights against Neil John Tabano. I've watched his fights against Mark John Yap. And I watched... Uh, his last fight in December on the Javante Davis Gamboa undercard, which, in my humble opinion, was the best performance of his career, where he stopped the, the very tough and always game uh, Cesar Rocky Juarez. I believe he was the second fighter to stop him ever at that point in his career, um, only besides I think Isaac Dogbe, I think, might have stopped him. But I don't, don't quote me on that. But anyway, they're fighting for the vacant WBO title, which is funny because how, how often do you see two PBC fighters fight each other? Uh, Steven Fulton versus Angelo Leo. Now I like this fight because of the style matchup, but you know there all there also seems to be a lot of cockiness uh, coming from the Fulton side of things. You know, I haven't really heard Angel Leo saying anything, but there seems to be a lot of cockiness uh, in regards to this fight from Stephen Fulton. He thinks that Angel Leo is just going to be some sort of stepping stone, which I, I, I can't see that happening. I've watched both of them fight uh, at least three times. I've watched like three of Leo's fights. I've watched like four or five Fulton fights. So um, I'm familiar with the two, I'm familiar with the styles, and I just can't see how it's going to be that way. So I think Fulton is, is writing some serious checks with his mouth that I'm not sure is asking cash on the night. But I'll, I'll read the quotes. I'll read the quotes. Here's what he said. Here's what uh, Stephen Fulton said in regards to Angelo Leo. He said, I quote, Who would turn down an easy fight like Angelo Leo? I feel great. I It's well overdue. I've been deserving this chance after the road I took defeating all these undefeated fighters that I have. I don't underestimate him, but he doesn't have what it takes to beat a fighter like me, especially mentally. He will be a world champion one day, but now is not the time for him. Um, that's what it is. Now, uh, Mayweather promotion CEO Leonard Ellaby, he came out because he, you know, he's 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 one of the guys behind Angel Leo. Angel Leo, Angel Leo. One thing I like about him is he's not much of a talker. He uh, he said this. This is what Leonard Ellaby said. This is what he said on Twitter. He said, "I quote: Leo can and would be he would be anybody on Fulton res resume. He says it's as easy as payday. We're surely going to see." Fulton is a very good fighter, but he's never fought anybody like Angel Leo. Um, can't wait. Angel Leo will be uh, the new world champion. So, look, I, I love this fight. I, I really do love this fight, man. I love, the, I love this fight. I think 
this is great that we're going to see two young, uh, undefeated prime fighters fighting for a world title. I know a lot of people aren't really from, uh, like too familiar with Angel Leo because he hasn't really featured as a, as a main event on any big cards. Uh, Fulton, even though he's been around, you know, he's still not a big name himself. But I, I really want to urge anybody watching this video to, to, to please watch this fight. It'll be August 1st. It'll be in, on P, P, one of PBC's first show. Uh, it might be the first show in general. It'll be August 1st on Showtime at the Mohegan Sun uh, Casino in Connecticut. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm not sure if they're going to have people there for that one, but maybe they do. But I like this fight. And to speak in, give my objective uh, opinions about uh, just, the, mat, just the, the style matchup and why I think it'll be such a good fight and, and, and who I'm favoring and why. Um... It's a great, it, it's a great, it's a great style matchup. You know, you have Fulton. Like I said, he's a fighter that is very, very dependent on his jab. Because as, as, as they say in boxing, a, a, a good jab can, t uh, a good right hand can take you around the block, but a good jab can take you around the world. And he really has that jab. He has that kind of jab to where, when he throws it, he throws it with conviction. He believes in it, and he's able to command distance. And he's, he's a very athletic guy too, Fulton. You know, he's able to move and slip and, and use that ring. You know, so jab, using his jab. And using the ring are his strengths. Um, why? What, what, what his weaknesses are, in my opinion, are that you know I've seen just in fights. Like I went back and I watched about Adam Lopez recently. Um, I've seen that when you get past that jab, he, sometimes he doesn't really know what to do uh, on the inside. And fortunately for him, his his jab has been getting him over on a lot of fights. But I don't know if this fight is going to be the fight where his jab gets him over. You know, I, I think it's going to be a very tough matchup for him. I've seen Angel Leo fight a couple of times, and you know. One thing I love about Angel Leo when I watch him fight is just the way he approaches hitting these angles, the way he approaches, um, just the way he the way he goes about finding these shots on the inside, whether, whether they be mid range or they be outside or uh, you know all the way in the trenches on the inside. He's a very creative, crafty fighter. He places his shots very well. I think he's a fighter that whenever I watch him fight, like I've, I've been watching him for three fights now, every time I see him, he's getting better. You know. Um, so I don't know, man. Um, I like Fulton. I think I think Fulton will probably go in as a favorite in this fight. I think Fulton will have a have a have a lot to prove to the world because he wants to really make a statement against Angel Leo. But I know Angel Leo has a lot to prove too because he's someone that has been patiently waiting for his opportunity. He's been grinding his ass off. So these are two young fighters who maybe haven't gotten the attention that they, they deserve from the boxing media, but they're two young undefeated fighters in their prime, and they're fighting for the world title. Um, which is something that we're not going to see too much of in this calendar year. So that's why, to me, this fight is so special. So um, if I had to give my prediction for the fight, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if I want to give a prediction, but if, right now, just based on the tape I've seen and things like that, I, I, I really do think that I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm leaning towards Angel Leo for the upset. I, I think if there was a fight where you're going to see a, a upset in a, in, a, in, a, in a big time fight, it's going to be this fight right here. You know, people are going to go with Fulton because Fulton is the more, um, established fighter he is the bigger name and rightfully so he's fought guys like adam lopez he's been on pbc card he fought adam lopez he fought joshua greer um you know he's known people know what people know him he's been on some big cards so i, I understand why but um i just think angel leo I, I i love i love how he carries himself i love his uh not just his style but um how he applies his strengths because you can have the right tools but it's how you apply those tools that make you uh, a world-class fighter and just the way he applies his tools the way he approaches things in the ring I, I, I see a guy that's going to go on and become a world-class fighter I see someone that gets better every fight and I'm not really too confident in, in Fulton's ability to fight on the inside but hey who knows man we'll see if Fulton uh can handle the pressure for Angel Leo and we'll see if Angel Leo can get past the jab of Fulton it's, it's a great style matchup and I just I just implore everybody to please watch this fight and you know what Bob Aram ain't really been giving us no great fights recently not too many great ones uh we don't know what Eddie Hearn's cards are gonna do. We don't know what Oscar De La Hoya's cards are gonna do. But I, I, I really do like this. I like this fight a lot. So just for this one time, we will say it. We will say it here on True School Sports. From, from, from your boy BT and the True School Sports Untouchable Empire, we say thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, leave your comments down below. Leo versus Fulton. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Uh, go watch their fights just so you can you can you can get yourself right for the for the night. Um, I, don't, I, I can't tell you guys what my next live fight reaction is going to be, but if, I don't, if you don't have one in the next two or three weeks, this will be one that happens for sure, August 1st. But yeah, leave your comments down below. 
take the time to subscribe. But like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, later.